I'd rather see your face before your asshole. Call me old fashioned. <laughs>
Well, he's not going to be out here, fortunately, because he's on the road right now doing a bunch of shows. Okay. So I got to hold it down by myself, which I always do, and I do it right. Do you like working with your brother? Do you guys get along? Yeah. Is that and complicated? Actually, when I, mean, when I say brother, it's brother as in we, we know each other for so many years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So oh, I see. Know, you Just your good friend. Just like us. Just like us. Just like us. Yeah. Uh, wait, so, okay, so do you prefer to perform solo, or are you going to be missing him? Um, I mean, you know, solo solo is the way to go. You, you're here by yourself, so at the end of the day, you know, I perform by myself. If I have others, then we make it do what it do. We just add on to it. Wow. Who, who is this on your necklace? My father, my late father. I'm sorry to my hear a loss. That's a my beautiful festival, necklace. My festival is named after him to keep his name. Oh, up. really? Yeah. Oh, nice. Cool. What's it called? Yeah. Drew Classic Music Festival. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Uh, yeah. Like, like I said, back home, big deal. Yeah. I give back to the community, so I do a lot. So, you know. Huh. That's great. Who is, the, like, your biggest inspiration? My mother. Your mother? Yeah. Why, how come she's not on your necklace? Why? Yeah. My late father. Oh, okay. So. My, my father passed. Got it. So once she's late, you'll have. And then honestly, it. I got my mom's tatted on me. Oh, nice. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Very cool. She uh, got on there. Wow. She tatted on my heart. So, oh, so they're kind of next to sweet. each other. Yeah. Cool. cool. I like that. Are you guys in relationships? Nah, it's, it's basically like my niece. Oh, slash yeah, yeah, yeah. I just meant like individually. Oh, oh all right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you know how life you go. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you guys from? Los Angeles. Nice. Yeah, Almost, oh, yes, my, yeah. I love over there. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I had an apartment in Citrus Heights in Sacramento. Oh, okay, oh, Back well. in 2015 and 16. Oh, cool, oh, cool. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. That's great. I love it over there. Every time I go over there, you know, it's a relaxation, you know? Yeah. Sit down, relax. A little chill. Have a couple puff puffs. Yeah. And then you, your day's your day good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Puff, like marshmallow puffs? Nah, you know, a little marijuana. Yeah, oh, it's legal but, now. Ah, I heard yeah, about yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's Whoa. very fun. Yeah, wait, so you're not dating anyone? Or you're you're kind of... I like you. You don't let <laughs> nothing slide. You know how life goes, man. Yeah, yeah, you know. He's out here. You're out here. I'm not out here. Oh, you're not out no, here. No. You're I'm, in there. I'm, you're in there. Yeah. yeah. Okay. He's getting, you're getting <laughs> in there? I like ya. I like ya. Yeah. I like that. I'm about to use that line, too. For real, for real. All right. All right. Just credit yeah. me. I got you. I'm yeah, he's follow, cool. I will follow y'all on IG. When y'all right. see our IG, you like, All right. dang, Check I'm it out. I stopped them. Yeah. yeah. And um, how many, you're playing three shows? Yes. Cool. You yeah. nervous? You excited? I'm excited. Not nervous, but yeah. I'm excited. Okay. Mm. Very overwhelmed. With a lot and it's just you solo, people. rapping. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. And are you out there too? Or are you just in there? <laughs> I'm out there. Okay. She's out there. Okay. okay. All right. Oh. All right. She's out there. She's out there. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, is there yeah. a big Dominican community in New York? Yeah. You grew up in that community and you yeah. feel really proud to be part of it? I am. I huh. love my Dominican. I love my people. What They're part of, people. is it somewhere in Brooklyn or something? Is there a big, no. like, where, where are you um, from? I'm like born and raised yeah, yeah. in New York. Okay. I wasn't born in DR, but okay. my family is from Santiago in DR. Okay. No, but is there a big, like what neighborhood in New York has the biggest Dominican everywhere. population? Oh, everywhere. Um, honestly, I would say more in the city, like okay. the Bronx area. Bronx, okay. Brooklyn, there's a lot of more Dominicans. Okay. I grew up in Long Island, so okay. it's, Got it's it. mixed. But cool, cool. And is your act, you you singing? Rapping. No, I rap. Rapping, okay, yeah. very cool. What kind of stuff do you rap about? Um, party, Ooh. real stuff. Being out there? Being out there, <laughs> 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 not it. Cool, cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What do you rap about? I uh, see it, it's a whole opposite. I rap about love. I rap about outside. Oh, we love outside. We're outside. I rap about the money. Okay. Well, yeah, I, mean, I have. I've seen it. Motivation. Motivation. You know what I mean? It's a little mix of anything, but you know my main sound is for the females. Oh, your main sound is for the females? Yeah. What do you mean by that? I mean, you know, love songs. Love songs. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. I rap love songs. I rap to the females and make them has, feel good. Has anyone ever heard one of your songs and thought, I want to be the object of that type of love? Yeah. And hit you up. Yeah. They're like, oh, this Canada, is inspirational. I had, a, I had fans, of, I had fans of Canada. And they're kind of like, oh, and this like, type of love I want put on me by him. Yeah, 100%. Interesting. By him. 100%. 100%. Interesting. So, they, so, they hit, so they you kind of put that. it out there. I didn't even say, but yeah. you know, honestly, when it comes to something like that, though, I don't really play back and forth with that, though. Yeah, no, I get so it. I put it out there. If they take it, if that's how they want to perceive what they want, that right. you know, is, is up to them. But honestly, mm. I don't play back and forth. I understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. That's where things get tricky. You cross the line between. You can't the cross the line. The Understood. Line. Understood. Yeah. But you, but so, you're putting it out there. Yeah. Interesting. You put it wow. out there. At the end of the day, you want people to feel good. You feel me? Yeah. yeah. You want people to understand certain stuff, so you gotta give them what they want. 
Yeah, exactly. Honestly. That's like with this show, I'm trying to like put it out there and get every people to fall in love with me. Listen, y'all outside. How can y'all how can y'all not be out there? Y'all outside. Yeah, yeah, yeah we're, we're out here. Right. Y'all sure. got a good vibe. And yeah. y'all chilling. Right. And you is comfortable. Black yeah, I'm chilling. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, not a big deal for the me. Glasses is fly. Okay, all right. Oh. I like this jacket. It's got a kind of a almost like a fleece lining kind of yeah, style. Yeah, it keeps you, it keeps you warm without keeping you warm. It's hot mm. out here. It's, hopefully, it doesn't heat you too much. Uh, nah, I'm already hot. Okay. Oh, I see. <laughs> I'm already hot, meaning. I see. I get it. I'm I understand. Him, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So extra extra heat don't do nothing. Turn it yeah, yeah. Feel me? yeah, I feel you. I feel you. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Well, when's what? When's your show? When's the next show? Tonight, tomorrow, Saturday. Cool. How do these shows work? Do you have to have like a pass at the festival, or it's just kind of an yeah, independent there's thing? Yeah, there's levels. There's levels of shows when it comes to South by Southwest. You have, you have like the big mainstream shows, and you have. Um, I don't want to say upcoming shows, but you have other shows from like different promoters. So mainstream shows might be from companies. Might be from like you know bigger brands. Other shows might be from promoters like such as me, such as you know somebody yeah, else yeah, in, yeah. That, in that nature. Okay. So it's right. dope. I mean, I, I advise anybody else if you're an artist to come out here to come show you know come show what you got. Um, well, any other final thoughts, Paul? I don't think so. Just keep keep doing keep doing. Yeah, yeah keep doing. You guys too. You guys yeah. doing a great thing. Thank you. Keep it going. Right, maybe we'll come see your show tonight. Yeah, you each get a dollar and a sticker for being good. Oh, for real? Oh, there you go. Yeah. Thank you. For real? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, hold on. I got yeah. a record job. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Yeah. Hold yeah. on. Yeah, yeah record oh, us. Guys, yeah. I like these. Yeah. I like these. Yeah. 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 Fly them, fly. Yeah. We got the, what are we going to call this today? It's we a pedicab. Oh, for pedicab. real? I was going to call it. Yeah. Wow, to talk to a couple musicians at South by Southwest, who thought? Mm -hmm. Who thought? To do, to immediately find people living their dream. Do I wish it? we could, whenever I talk to music people, I wish we could just listen to their song immediately. I know. I want to know what it's like. I know. Yeah. Yeah, they should be playing it on a speaker. I think all musicians should have... Like a button you can a press. A button you can press. And that plays their music for you. Um, yeah, how you doing? You excited to be here on the street? Yeah, I'm kind of jealous that I don't know how to rap. Right. Well, I do, but I just kind of do it in private. Right. I, I wish I had the courage to like do it in front of people. I've heard you do a little bit of rapping. You have? Yeah. Oh, it's so embarrassing. It's really good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Can you recite some of what I what no, you like no, the most? No, no, I would get canceled immediately. Yeah, my stuff is a little. Yeah, it's out there. It's out there. Definitely it's not very there. PC. I no, guess. it's very out there. Yeah. Most of the words aren't real. Non, yeah, real or non slurs. No, it's very. Yeah, very I don't know rough. why. It's cool though. It's interesting. Yeah, I try my hardest. Where are you going? <laughs> That's a good way to do it. Yeah. Just yell that. Who else is around? No one yet. It is crazy how dead the streets are. Yeah, well, it's, it's morning. Interesting. I know, but it's like noon now. Yeah, but if I were out late partying at shows, rapping, if I was out late doing my raps, I definitely wouldn't be up till at least 1 p.m. You're obsessed with doing your raps. Yeah, well, it's my, well, I have morning raps, I have night raps, I have nap, rap, nap raps. Oh, how come this buff guy is walking across the street? Ugh. To have a buff guy walking towards you and then he leaves is just such a tragedy. If you just hold out your mic, they come. Oh, All right. come on! What do we gotta do? We'll oh. pay you. Look, look at the sign. Sure, oh, we'll pay, pay you. He did it. Man, Cole's the king at getting people to, 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 yeah. to, to do stuff. I know what people want. We are, we are talking about where you're going. Where am I going? I'm going back to work. Oh, back where do you to work? work? Where do you yeah. work? We're we'll at Zilker Brewing down the street over oh, here. Oh, we've been there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Nice, pretty do good. Do you lift barrels for work? Uh, I used to. Now I do a lot of paperwork. Because you seem so. quite strong. Do, are, you hurt, are you hurt breaking pens and stuff? Oh, yeah. Every yeah. day. I got to get a new keyboard <laughs> once a week. It wow. seems like it. <laughs> oh, what, what do you, so you, you're like managerial there? Yeah, I manage the sales and distribution side. So still throwing around some kegs. How, um, how far around the country does your beer extend? Just in the Austin area. Austin area. So, okay. yeah, we're up in Round Rock. Down to, we go down to San Antonio once or twice a month. But, mm. yeah. Do you brew? Did you, did you, do you have a history of brewing or are you just kind of... No, 
stuff. No, uh, I just had a history of working in craft beer. I, uh, I worked at a liquor store in college and Whoa. just kind of fell into this. So cool. uh, it's been fine. It's been good. Is this what you want to continue doing with your career? Uh, it's a good career. I like it. Um, I'm doing some stuff on the side, doing some writing, things like that. Wait, what's your name? Andrew. Andrew. Nice. Hey, what good kind name. of writing do you do? Uh, fantasy stuff. Really? Dark oh, fantasy. Cool. Yeah. Dark Ooh. fantasy. Yeah. What's your darkest fantasy? I'm a darkest <laughs> fantasy brother. I don't think that's. Uh, I don't think that's safe for. Uh, so what? It, what is dark? Dark fantasy is like Pan's Labyrinth kind of style. Uh, kind of like uh, Dark Souls. Oh, um, like video game kind of. He is kind of just like the, that sort of like vibe and setting. So. Did yeah. you play Elden Ring? Yes, I did. That's yeah. good. That was good. Yeah. yeah. Excited for the DLC? Uh, yeah. I keep forgetting that it's coming out. It's so. been so long since I played the original that I'm like, yeah, I feel like I'm gonna I gotta forget go back everything and about my character. Try to relearn it. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh. Wow, yeah. Very cool. Are you married? Yeah. Cool. Yeah. How long have you been married? It's two years now. Whoa. Yeah, we've been together Ew. for like ten years. Whoa. Uh, yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. That's cool. How'd you yeah. guys meet? College? Uh, in college. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. At a friend's house party. Uh, mutual friend was like having was playing a show yeah, and yeah. just kind of. Did, what happened that made you decide, okay, I want to marry this person after eight, seven or eight years? Uh, it's hard to say, like, one thing. Yeah. Just, like, really connected um, and never really felt like I had to put on a front, even from day one. Wow. So we were able to just do the things we liked, spend time together, enjoy. Yeah, you might, you might die, but it'll be worth it. Yeah. yeah. It'll be worth it. <laughs> No, I guess just that we, we vibed really well and we understood each other. So. Huh. Yeah. And was she kind of like when you, did you propose in a traditional sense? Uh, yeah. Yeah. We were on a road trip and uh, we just. You want to come say hi? Hey, He's yeah. got to get to work. She works with me too. Oh, she works with oh. you? Oh, so you're taking a picture of your friend. How's his wife? Is his wife awesome? Oh, I guess not. <laughs> Damn, I guess your wife isn't awesome. No, I'm sure she is. Um, cool. Do you have kids? No. You want them? Not really. Whoa, okay. Same. No. Yeah, we just got a new puppy, so uh, that's that's as far as we're. Oh, getting. what kind of dog? Uh, Dachshund. Oh, yeah. How you raise it? How old? You, how old? Uh, he's fifteen. Weeks oh, so old? pretty new. You're yeah, training yeah. him. It's a yeah, lot yeah. of work. He's peeing all over the it's place. It's hard. Yeah, you gotta take him out constantly. Yeah. 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 All right. Hey, we don't want to take you all day. We know you have to go to work. Cool. Yeah. So Andrew, here's a dollar and a yeah. sticker. Thank you. Have a good day. Stop by. Come on in. Okay, we'll see come back. We'll do. We'll come by. Have a good one. All right. Would that dollar go towards our drink if we come in, or? I think I would assume that he meant anything is on the house. Right? Oh, sweet. For, for, for honestly, from now until forever, I think. I just want to see him throw some barrels around. I don't want to even want to drink. That guy was strong. Yeah. Sometimes you get real strong, and you look like that. And sometimes yeah. you look like us, which is fine. A little different. It's just different. Fine. It's just a little different. Hello. We're desperate. Yeah. Come on. Help a brother out. Lime! Lime alert. Lime alert. Oh, man. Can we just talk about how this is called Onion Street? I mean, that's cool. That is cool. Hey! Where are you going? Right into an appointment. Okay, I hope it's uh, awesome. Appointment. I hope you win. Thank you. That woman's going to win her appointment. Have you ever won an appointment? No. No. Always lost. Oh, whoa! whoa. Cup alert. Party time! What are those cups for? Yeah, okay. All right. We'll be there. That happens every time we do our show. Person with 300 cups walks by. Yeah. That's when you know you're about a quarter of the way through. That's how you know. If, if you see someone with that many cups, you know Podcast But Outside is right around the corner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We are. Hey. Hey, we miss you guys. Hey. I think they almost crashed. It's a quite a distracting thing, what we're doing. Yeah. I've decided. Yeah. Like having multiple bikes and all the crew is more distracting because normally it's just me and Cole with a table mm -hmm. and a person who we found on Instagram to film for us with an iPhone. But this is a little more elaborate and it's yeah. just a little more serious. Panned elaborate. Yes. Call back. I would love to read some of his fantasy writing. I know, for real. I wonder if it has anything to do with barrels. I doubt it. Maybe some Donkey Kong stuff? That would be cool. Hey! 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 Oh, That's the most guy. like Austin. No, he's a more Portland looking fella. He's got our exact backpack. He does. Mm. I can see the skyline. Yeah. I can't. Really? Yeah, something must be wrong with my vision. Damn, man. I'm I sorry. can see to here. Oh. Everything else is black. That's concerning. <laughs> yeah, it's just pitch black. Are they getting more cups? Oh, oh she dude. If, if that person gets more cups, I would freak. I'd freak. Hold on. Let's see. Oh my god. Fingers crossed. No, there are. I see a lot more. Are there? I think they're trying to decide like how many can they grab at once. Whoa. Oh. More cups. More cups, hold on. 
More cups! More yeah. cups! Woo. Cup time! Cup time! Cup time! This is so Austin. Yeah. Oh, people be drinking. People cups. be cupping. People be putting liquid in cups. In some cities, you don't need a cup. The liquid can just kind of exist. But yeah. in Austin, you got to keep it contained. Yeah. And I think that's cool. I think that's really cool. I didn't know Austin was a city with the most cups. Per capita, yeah. Yeah. Wow. All right. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I wish we could help, but have fun with them. We're stapled. Yeah, we can't. <laughs> they did staple us. They said we don't have seatbelts, but we do have staples. <laughs> and they stapled me and Cole to this pedicab. Yeah. Really, really, really thoroughly. If you were a, uh, an animal. Mm -hmm. I would, yeah, 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 I would. You? Yeah. All right, nice. What about you? Lab rat. You'd be a lab rat. Yeah. Not even a rat, but it's specifically one that is tested on. Yeah, I'd want to progress science. Further. For humanity, yeah. Oh, you want to get interesting. Yeah. I also just kind of want to feel like to have like a, no skull, but still an exposed brain. But I also feel like you're a person now, mm -hmm. and you could be a scientist, but you're not choosing to do that. It feels like if you want to progress science, you should pursue a career in the scientific world versus wanting to come back as a lab rat. Feels like a backwards way of moving that forward. Hey, she's back. Oh, okay. Wow. Is this the last load? No? How many times are you going to be doing this? Can we help you with one load? Yeah, we're going to help. We're going to help with one load. Okay. Yeah. We just we're gonna we, do we it. come this far. We're just going to help with one load. Okay, I'll carry you help with the load and I'll hold you, the mic. No, 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 no. Yeah, we'll help you with the load. Oh, oh my god. Yeah, there's a lot of cups. <laughs> Whoa, right, cup time. Cool. Did it? That was awesome. That was awesome. It feels good to give back to the community. Yeah, it really does. I think I think I need to like sit for the rest of the day. Oh, from that one little walk. Well, you saw how far that was. It was like all the way around the corner. Whoa. Hmm. Wow. Should we move on or? Hey, Chad. Yeah, not my name, but okay. This episode is brought to you by the Spring Cleaning Champions. Manscaped. 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 This season, make sure to groom your carpets and the drapes. The leaders in below the waist grooming clear out that winter bush with Manscaped Longmower 5.0 and watch your confidence bloom like the springtime flowers. Yeah, uh, Manscaped is the first. Embrace the season and join the 10 million men worldwide who trust Manscaped with our special offer. <laughs> Go to manscaped.com and use code OUTSIDE for 20% off plus free shipping. Yeah, Manscaped is the first razor I've used to make me feel cold. Oh, oh, you, oh, you like for the for the summer. You're trying to like cool off. Yeah, for the summer, because usually like I don't. Usually I just use my pubes for warmth. Right. But in the in summer, the it's too much. Well, it's, it's spring now, so you're spring. kind of going yeah, half yeah. mass. Spring, a bit. spring cleaning. Spring cleaning, yeah, yeah. and then you're kind of getting a little bit cooled off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't even use AC. You just kind of trim no, no, no. accordingly. Well, I just yeah, I trim accordingly, and then sometimes I have like you blow. You've you've blown a little to cool. Yeah, cool I remember that one time when it was like really cold in yeah, LA yeah. and you had me light you on yeah. fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 This is better than that though, right? It's much better. Because their fifth generation trimmer features two interchangeable next gen skin safe blade heads, a standard one for taking a little off the top, and a new foil blade to go smooth wherever your heart desires if it's warm outside in mm -hmm. particular. And if you're doing it in the dark, it also features LED spotlights to guide you through the darkest winter debris. Navigate with confidence in your delicate areas. Are those LED spotlights? They're dual, right? They are dual, yeah. That's great. You hate making a mess? Not to worry, this bad boy is waterproof. Shave in the shower, in the bath, or in the ocean. Or outside in the rain, like I, I do. Yeah, that's true. I love this thing because it comes with a compact case. I take it with me everywhere I go. Pretty much everywhere. everywhere. <laughs> if I'm at dinner, that thing is buzzing. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm buzzing yeah. the waiter. I'm, uh -huh. I'm trimming his hair, his mustache. Yeah. I believe me, this thing comes with me everywhere. Yeah, Andrew goes up to the waiter <laughs> and says, say when. Yeah, yeah, I do that yeah. kind of Yeah, it's yeah. like a Parmesan thing. Uh-huh. Spring cleaning doesn't just apply to the nether regions. Get full grooming experience with Manscaped Signature Beard Hedger Pro Kit Plus Handyman Electric Face Shaver. These are great products. They've sponsored us in the past. They truly are the best thing if you're looking for something like this. You can use it like coal seasonally. These are just great products. Get it as a gift for yourself or for someone else. Get 20% off and free shipping with the code OUTSIDE at manscaped.com. That's 20% off and free shipping with the code OUTSIDE at manscaped.com. Nothing like a little spring cleaning in your pants. So true, bestie. So true, bestie. This episode is sponsored by Blue Chew. Chew. Let's talk about sex. Guys, remember the days when you were always ready to go? Now you can increase your performance and get the extra confidence in bed. Listen up, bluechew.com. Okay. 
This is a, we've done a number of these Bluetooth ads, and we did finally figure out what sex is. Yeah, yeah. And now we know what this thing does. For, a, we were basically completely speaking blind the first mm-hmm, few times because yeah, we yeah. hadn't looked it up yet. But now we're experienced. No, now we get it fully. And yeah, I, we and practice a lot. Yeah, and this stuff is awesome. Now that I know what it does, I yeah, yeah. totally am for it. Yeah, because before I was taking it, I didn't really know what it was doing, but I knew it made me feel some type of way. Right, but you didn't know what to do with that. Right. And now you know where to go. I know exactly where to go. Right. Blue Chew is a unique online service that delivers the same active ingredients as Viagra, Cialis, and Levitra, but in chewable tablets at a fraction of the cost. Back then, I thought it was just chewing, and that was what the oh, whole thing was. Oh, no, you was. gotta swallow it too, brother. Right, I know. I thought it was like gum, and I was no, spitting no, no. it out and no, stuff. No, you gotta digest that. Right. Mm. The process is simple. Sign up at BlueChew.com, consult with one of their licensed medical professionals, professional m- providers and once you're approved you're res- you'll receive your prescription within days the best part it's all done online so no visits to the doctor's office no awkward conversations and no waiting in line at the pharmacy blue choose tablets are made in the usa like and, us and, uh, it's true and prepared and shipped direct to your door just also like us yeah. in a discreet package similar, also like us. similar to us as well you could be missing out on the best sex of your life which again we know what that's all about now yeah do you ever wonder what our neighbors are thinking like when we're saying made that re- oh when oh. we when we are saying when we're saying this, oh, out, doing loud, this out loud our neighbors have to be hearing yeah us, they right? must be going to probably bluetooth.com slash outside huh. bluetooth wants to, <laughs> to help you have better sex deliver it to, uh, we do have neighbors <laughs> yeah. discover your options at bluetooth.com chew it and do it and we've got a special deal for our neighbors i mean listeners listeners try, try bluetooth, bluetooth free when, when you get you the promo, promo code, code outside at, at checkout. checkout just pay five dollars shipping that's bluetooth.com promo, promo code, code outside to, to receive your first month free wait Visit BlueChew.com for more details and important safety information. And we thank BlueChew for sponsoring this episode. And we thank our neighbors for supporting BlueChew. And we thank our neighbors for all the stuff that they do. Get back to the episode now. Joe Rogan. That's Joe Rogan's comedy club. Are you performing there tonight? Uh, no, I can't. I'm vaccinated. Mm. Oh, shit. Yeah. I'm not allowed to go. No way! Oh, uh, thank we you. Love you! We love you. I hope you guys filmed that. I hope they got that on film. I hope film. they got that on film. You just knew that guy was a podcast fan. Yeah. <laughs> just from his vibe. Hey, guys. Hello. Patreon has brought us here to South by Southwest. We're at the point of the episode where we have a special guest who's going to meet us on this corner. Um, What corner? It's at 9th and Red River Road, if you must know. And Billy Eichner from Billy on the Street and the movie Bros is going to join us here to interview some strangers. I'm interested to see how he does on our show because his show, Billy on the Street, is very, very fast-paced, moving, walking, and intense energy. And ours is just chill sitting down. Yeah. Can, maybe maybe he'll freaking flop. Maybe he'll explode with energy and it won't even work. And it'll be a complete nightmare and the city of Austin will explode. Die? Die. No, it's going to be great. We're so excited to have him. Hey, how are you? Can you just look at the camera and say, it's going to happen right now. Say, it's going to happen it's right gonna now. It's going to happen right now. Oh, fuck, okay, wait, it's hold happening on. right just now. Just say it right, Lisa. just say it into this. It's going to happen right now. Oh, fuck, it's going to happen right now. Yes, and I just like- say B- Billy Eichner. Huh? Say Billy Billy Eichner. Hello, Billy Eichner. I he's, know where you live. Yeah, he's gonna come and he's gonna do it. Nice. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you. What's your name? Johan. Johan. Thank you, Johan. Johan. Take care, man. That's it, brother. Stoned out of his mind, but <laughs> as happy as can be. <laughs> that was perfect. All right, here it comes. <laughs> wow, we are so happy to have our special guest for today. It's Billy Eichner. Hey, from- where am I looking? I guess and, anywhere. At you? Yeah, I would look at, at those. You can look oh, at us. Oh, okay. You can All look right. inward if you want. Okay. Well, yeah. I never yeah. want to okay, do that. Okay. Well, then we'll skip That's that portion of it. Wow. How's life? Life is good. Pretty good general good. question. Yeah. Huh? Are you mad at us? Am I mad? Yeah. No. I, I, we're on this. Like we're doing street stuff. Oh. I know that you kind of. That kinda was kind of your that, thing. Yeah. Yes. Thing. Yeah. I was. It was very kind to me. Okay. Oh, my yeah. day. Yeah. Yeah. I passed the torch. Yeah. Yeah. Do you? Doing that for as long as you did it, are you less interested in talking to strangers now or more interested in talking to strangers? I always actually really like talking to okay. strangers okay. because they're real people and I not agreed. fake Hollywood people. I, Though I also have a very special place in my heart for fake Hollywood people. It's oh, yeah, all good. It's all about balance. Yeah. 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 Wow. Yeah. Does, does interacting with strangers change since the fact that you're known as the guy who interacts with strangers? 
I don't do it as much anymore, right. so I don't know. I went out with Paul Rudd and did one 2022. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Um, I think that was the last one we did. If you catch them off guard, you can still get a spontaneous reaction, but right, it's right, definitely right. harder now. People yeah. are coming to you with a specific agenda. People want to be on it, and that's not that's what bad. I want. No, we're so in the same bad. boat. We're in the same boat. Whenever someone under 30 walks by, they will probably have heard of us, and we're kind of like, no, nah, we want to talk to your dad. Yeah. Like, we want to talk to a random weirdo yeah, exactly. who isn't trying to be involved in this. It's not as much fun if yeah. they're, like, ready for it. You want authenticity. Yeah. 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 So, you're, so we've been doing this show for a few years. Our show is very slow-paced. It's like chill. We just talk to people for like 15 to 20 minutes. You are very much like in their face as quickly as possible to get an interaction out. Yeah. Also, we shoot in New York. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In Manhattan, which yeah. is a huge part of it. Yeah, yeah. That's the, the, um, the vibe. I mean, that's that energy. Some might say it might even be a character in your show. Is the city of New York. I love when people say that. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, but it, but it's true. No, but it, it would no, very no, much. No, it's it, a cliche, but it's, it's true. It's true. In your yeah. in your show in particular, it's true more so than it probably is for most movies. That yeah, would say because that. you need the energy and you also just need the volume of mm -hmm. well. Literally the volume and also the volume of people. Yes, yes, yes. On yes. the street, you need all those interactions. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, do you guys? Are, do you guys want to talk with us? Uh, we're well, we, we oh, from the, the UK. UK. Okay, no worries. Oh, do your from, thing. They're from the UK. Okay, yeah, they don't. They're a different country. It's totally different. Oh, <laughs> it's yeah. a totally different country. I've never heard of it's it. It's totally different. They're, they're, <laughs> they're going to be doing their own thing. Uh, yeah. We can't speak to them. Because I don't. They don't seem to want to. But oh, okay. Do you want to talk to us? Yeah, I just got a bit. Shell shot. Oh, do you want to say hi? We're welcome to talk to you if you want yeah. to. Yeah, sit down on the You're stool. You're from the UK. We have no idea what your culture is. Please <laughs> teach yeah. us. Johnny, you can be the one to teach about culture. Are you from the UK as well? Yes, hi. It's an official UK ambassador. <laughs> What's your name? Kiana. Kiana? Yeah. That's a nice name. Thank you. Yeah. Are you here for South By? Yes, we are. Whoa. We've um, been working at UK House. UK the, house? Yes. What does that mean? It's a <laughs> great question. It's, um, <laughs> we've got music and we've just done our advertising. Bit. It's like oh. an embassy, but for music. <laughs> music yeah. and advertising. Yeah. There's a mix you never really see. <laughs> <laughs> How did you yeah. blend them together? So Seamlessly. Yeah. yeah. What is your role? Do you send a lot of emails? Yeah, a lot of emails. Is that every job? <laughs> I, actually, I think WhatsApp. that's every job. <laughs> yeah, I love sending emails. Do you yeah. ever text? Yeah. It's a really useful WhatsApp. way of communicating. Yeah. What was that? WhatsApp. 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 Yeah. We yeah. don't do that as much in America. Really? Do you guys no, do WhatsApp? Do no, I do it when I travel. When, when I travel, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. Th WhatsApp is nice because the nudes disappear. <laughs> yeah. Right? Yeah. When you're traveling. Oh, yeah. Because, yeah, there's never any on mine, so they must be disappearing. These disappearing like crazy. In my experience. Do you yeah. travel all the time for work? Uh, this is kind of a new job for me. I've only been in it a year, so... Oh. Yes. I love it. Is she your boss? <laughs> yeah. Really? Oh. oh, this is a great dynamic. Awesome. Have you been to Texas before? No, never. What this do you think? It's amazing. It's yeah. crazy. It's yes, the freest, it's the freest, the last free bastion of America. It's the last place we can be free. <laughs> Texas. I know. Texas. This is where it is. You can hold an assault weapon yeah, here, you but you, you cannot you know, get an abortion. I've been trying no. to find a lighter mm -hmm. in the shape of a cowboy boot. Oh, wow. Um, and someone was like, I don't know where you can find that, but I can get you one in the shape of a gun. And I was of like, course yeah. they were. Yeah. America. Yeah. It's great here. <laughs> we're doing great. Yeah, you came to the gunniest place in America as a UK yes. person. That's kind of cool. The gunniest, the gunniest place. place. <laughs> By the way, I think Texas is this close to making that their official <laughs> slogan. Except there are also a lot of cool people. I might no, put that are. in my roundup post. Yeah, yeah. The gunniest place. Yes. Yeah. Wait, gunniest. so what is, what is um, what do you do in music? You. So we work on the advertising side. Right, okay. Um, so we've been curating talks and panels. Do you oh, partner cool. musicians with advertisers, kind of brands and stuff? We will next year, because that's a great idea. Oh, oh, <laughs> I just came up with that. I have my own company. What kind of music? All kinds or? Yeah, they have, um, it was BBC introducing, so like up and coming. There was rock bands. Skepta, Skepta was here. Skepto? Skepta. What's Skepta? Like a Skepta He's a grime piercing? artist in the UK. He's a really grime, what's, grime? what's a grime artist? Like, we don't know. Kind of like rap. Oh. It's like, it's distinctive UK rap. Yeah. Oh. He, Oh, he's wow. huge. Yeah, Not for us. So we're fucking. <laughs> Not for us. We're out of touch. I yeah, guess. I've never heard of Grimes. Yeah. I've heard of Grimes. She married my friend Elon. Oh but, right. Yeah. Oh, I've no, I've heard of Grimes <laughs> yeah, the artist. Grimes. Oh, Grime, yeah, the, the genre. Grime, the genre. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Huh. Skepter. Skepter. Um, All right. Wait, is yeah. it? Do you guys work only with UK artists? Uh, it looks like I'm coming in. Here yeah. you go. Uh, do you only work with UK uh, artists? Yes, we do for UK House, but when we go to Cannes or Advertising Week New York or anything, we are open to working with artists from mm. all markets. And be honest, how has she been as an employee? Hmm. 
jokes. <laughs> She's been good. It, big, it has been a lifesaver having Keanu. Really? Oh, yeah. that's nice. Yeah, I used to do it all on my own. Oh. This year we doubled in size. So, oh, so you just brought her on? Oh. As a, you, did, you were, oh, wow. Yeah, if yeah, she yeah. threatened to walk or quit, would you try to incentivize her with a raise? <laughs> <laughs> this is great. <laughs> You'd have oh. to ask my boss. <laughs> She's oh, only wow. been doing it a year. Right. Right. Gen yeah. Z immediately wants a raise. <laughs> yeah. you know? I've been there in six months. I've been working really hard. I, I'm <laughs> sure you have. Uh. And how she is a boss. Great. Really? Okay. Yeah. Really good. <laughs> no, genuinely though. Where in the UK would, are you guys from? I'm from Brighton, but we work in London. Oh, you do? Okay. Yeah. And this has been an amazing opportunity. Working somewhere a year and to be in South by. Now, doing this. Yeah. <laughs> we really wanted to ask you if you um, the reason why we stopped is because we uh -huh. were like, oh my God, let's give him a dollar and ask him, does he know who we are? Yes. <laughs> that, well, I, I didn't know who you are, but now I do. <laughs> yeah. We do. We will pay you guys a dollar, though. We also pay all our guests a dollar. No, no, no. So we do our own thing. No, we have to. We have to. Actually. I've never done Billy on the Street with other currency. Oh, that's other a good than point. the dollar. Yeah. Yeah, we'll I'll do, it. To, do it. I'll have to come and do that. We would love that. We'd yeah. They're gonna partner you with Tide. You're gonna have a brand behind you. <laughs> Clearly, I'll do anything. I'm on this show. <laughs> pay me enough, I'll go anywhere. Yeah. Moscow. Uh, do you want to come to Can Lions? Yeah. Exactly. What's that? Can Lions. Do you want to come to Can? Can. I have never been to Can, and so I really want to go. Can. Really? Yes. But Can Lions is different than the Can <laughs> Film yeah, Festival. Uh, it, yeah, it's the advertising version. Oh, I don't want to do that. Oh, it's There's an advertising. No, kidding. no, no, no. I would love to do that. I've never <laughs> been to Can, and I've only the only place in France I've been is Paris. Mm -hmm. I would like to see the rest of it. I hear it's lovely. There's something really funny about being like a Hollywood person like you and be like, I'm at Can for the advertising festival. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just <laughs> it's a different as a fan, by the way, as a fan of advertising, it's a I'm not here to thing. work. As a fan of you. <laughs> yes, exactly. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. You have like a, a, one of those IP blockers so you change your address to the UK so you can watch UK ads on streaming yeah. services. Yeah, yeah. I watch like ads specifically <laughs> built yeah. for Liverpudlians. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Is that how you say it? Yeah. How do I even know Whoa, that? Whoa, Liverpudlians? Liverpudlians, yeah. right? I never knew that. Yeah. Mancunians. People who live in Liverpool. Yeah, no, I, I, oh. I gathered that much, but I didn't know Aren't that Aren't you glad was. you had me on the show this today? This is really smart. Yeah. This yeah. is really yeah. insightful. Yeah. Um, <laughs> who are you guys dating? Who am I dating? Yeah. yeah. Are you, who am I dating? Yeah, who are you dating? Yeah. Would we know them? No. Oh. <laughs> Wade Corain? <laughs> oh, Wade? Okay. Oh, lucky, lucky, lucky guy. man? Oh, okay. How long well, look, you, I don't, these days, you know. How long know. have you been in this relationship? 11 years. Wow. wow. That's a long time oh for God, someone blending advertising and music. <laughs> yeah. How do you balance it all? I, I don't. Uh, yeah, no, it's hard. It is hard. Are yeah. you single? I'm single. Me too. Mm. No. I think you guys are <laughs> Not that, oh, you're beautiful. I just. But he's, you're from the UK, different yeah, country. I mean, it's not going to work out. I'm extraordinarily gay. Not, uh, <laughs> yeah, I know. It's, yeah. Are you trying to date? Yeah, it's hard. Really? Yeah. Are you on the apps? Yeah. Are what the app? apps the same in the UK? Yeah, I think it's Bumble and Hinge. And Bumble Hinge. Do you have Tinder? No, that's oh. a bit too like hookups. Like. It exists, oh, but really? you just don't use it. Yeah. Oh, people use that for sex? Yeah. Oh, here it's, well, I guess they use it for sex, but technically for dating. Glad, yeah. I bet Tinder better pay me now, too. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm here to... Yeah. Exactly. Yes. I would say Tinder is the more hook uppy of our apps. Oh, really? Yeah, I think so. Oh, because yeah. in the gay world, I know you have we have Grindr, Grindr and yeah. all those other things. So we don't we, have that. Right. I think Tinder is as close as it gets. My straight male friends are so jealous of Grindr. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Are yeah. you guys? Um, jealous of it? Yeah. Yeah, it seems, I mean. Yeah. Though it, it wouldn't work the same. The it's a little different. Dynamic is different. Women is a little different. Yeah. Are you on Grindr? Was that? You're on Grindr? Yeah, of course. Yeah. What, what else am I going to do Does with work my out? life? Any success stories? Success? <laughs> 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 no. Um, uh, I don't really, I use it as like a, I very rarely meet up with people. Right. But it's, it's a cultural, like a, you're, you're studying the culture. Yeah, it's exactly. Game, it's, right? it's for procrastination. It's like a way to not. Are the conversations yeah. on there as blunt as they are in your movie? Oh yeah, it's that's it's that's not quite. More those are I think, those are basically I think stories I was cold from. Back in wow, my movie right, a little right, bit. right. Um, and is there something about that that like it's just agreed upon and everyone understands that? Oh yeah, there's yeah. no shame in there's it. There's no shame in it at all. But I mean, some people use it for dating. Yes, now yes. it all kind of all the it's apps kind together. of blend together, but. If you're using it for sex, people are very direct sometimes. Right. Like literally before they say hello, 
you will see a picture of their asshole. Right. Mm. Oh. I am not exactly. No, no, I know. I believe yeah. it. I believe it. And that is a, just a beautiful thing. It's a little wave. Think. You think it's something, yeah, no, I get that. I don't, I mean, to each their own. Yeah. I, I'd rather see your face before <laughs> your asshole. Call me old fashioned. <laughs> <laughs> I know that's not very 2024. Anyway, how are you guys you're, doing? You're, you're yeah, good. We're good. Billy, you're sending messages where you're like, show face. Like that's the new message. I was like, can I face. see show your face? face. I was like, can I know something about how you <laughs> yeah. envision the world? <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's not very hot to people on Yeah, Grindr. I guess not. Anyway, well, so thank you guys. Yeah, we hope you guys have you. fun in Austin. Thank We're gonna you. pay you a dollar in a sticker as we do. Oh, you get a sticker. We do. We do. Oh wow, you're giving oh, them a dollar. We do give them a dollar. Oh, What's up? Cute. Look at that pic. And we're oh, definitely in frame, right? right? We're definitely in frame? Yeah, okay, yeah, great. Yeah. Hey, do you guys want to talk to us? Hey. You want to talk to us and say hi? Are you from the UK? It's good. Yeah, from Edinburgh, Scotland. Oh, Edinburgh. oh, I went to Edinburgh. I was in the Edinburgh Festival. Oh, we very good. It, what was that? In the Fringe. In the Fringe Festival. I performed there in 2008. No one knew who I was yet, and I was performing for like theaters of like four people in the yeah, audience. It's, it's theater for South by Southwest. What was that? It's the same as South by Southwest. Oh, 11, yeah. So 11 little theaters, 100 shows, it's great. Right, I've never performed here. But yeah, Edinburgh, I was there for a whole month. Yeah. What's your name? I'm Ronnie. This is me. Hey. Oh, my 15th year at South by South. Wow. Wow. Why do you come here? Here, I'll give this to you. The music. The music, you just, do you come here for work or just to listen to music? Oh, I just come here. My dad comes here, so I come following oh, him around. This is, oh, this okay. is your child. Exactly. Amazing. Yeah. I come from music. Really? You just come to watch shows? Yeah, yeah. No work at all? None at all. Wow. Favorite week of the year. 15 years in a row that's you come to this favorite festival. favorite week of the year. Because of COVID, it's 15 out of the last 18. Wow. wow. Oh, that's amazing. Just to listen to music? Yeah, why is that so surprising? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's, it's a about. long that's way for you to about, come just to yeah, listen. It's like we're you have so many music festivals in the UK. I know, but there's nothing like this one where you can see so many bands up close and intimately in little oh. venues before they break. That's why I see. Is this the first time you've come? Yeah. No, I've been here three times now. Wow. Yeah. Do, you, do you stay here for the whole event? For like the week? For the week. week? The yeah, the, the music festival week, okay, yeah. Cool. Oh, wow. This week of the year. <laughs> wow, you really love yeah, South by Southwest. Nice. That's crazy. Okay. Are you trying nice to, to see... like meet the bands and stuff? Um, there's lots of little things to do. We, we support bands. We let them stay in our house and they tour. Whoa. What? Wait, wait, what? <laughs> It's just something we do, little bands. You bands. let them it's just a, crash at your house? We have to see them and know them first. But yeah, oh, when we, they come to Edinburgh, you mean? No, no, no. When we see them here, we invite them. We lived in Portland, Oregon for many years. Oh, oh me too. So we, yeah. so we used to invite bands, usually support bands. They could stay oh, at our place. Oh, that's so nice of you. Do a I living room show. I'd be scared, but that's very generous. What do you do for you? work? I work, I'm retired. Okay. So you just help I work, bands? I worked for Nike before. That's oh, I really? I just read oh, Phil Knight's wow. book. Yeah, that's really interesting. Good. It was good. So, yeah, I'll let you get back. Okay, well, hey, oh, wow. I mean, what we're doing is interviewing people, so this is what we're doing, but it's okay. Give a dollar to stick it for both of you. A dollar, hell yeah. Oh, Same travel. What's a dollar for? Thank you. Just for your time. Yeah. Ah, you, I'll give it to the first person. Okay, there you go. Give yeah, it the give it to one of those bass <laughs> guitarists that you're housing <laughs> voluntarily for some reason. That kind of freaks me <laughs> yeah, out. Yeah, see ya. Okay, yeah, bye. Care. Very nice people. Interesting. Yeah. Huh. Huh. It's so funny that we're so jaded that we were like brought here by a corporation that we're like, you would just come here. Where are you going? Listen. Voluntarily for art? <laughs> to enjoy the gift it's of like art? Right here. You're so right. I was like looking at him yeah. as if he had like murdered someone. Me too. I I'm know. like, how have you organized your I was like, you're life? running a cult. <laughs> yeah. It's like, yeah. Yeah, that's how it goes. And they come all this way. Where it's else quite do a they lot. go? It's crazy. Do they go other places in Texas? It's crazy. I don't know. Wow. What a patron of the arts. Yeah. Hey, how are you? Hi. You want to say hi? No Hi. worries. Okay. It's okay. Hi. Bye. We need to talk to you. Mm. We have so many questions. We have so many questions! Okay. Hi. Hi. You wanna sit down? Sure. Yeah, great. Oh, Please. Oh, wow. Yeah. Hi. What's your name? What's your name? I'm Jeff. Jeff. Hi, nice Jeff. Nice to meet you. Billy, Billy. Andrew Cole. Yes, Andrew Cole. Wow, Andrew. it's great to meet you guys. What's yeah. up with you? What, 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 what are you doing here? Uh, I'm fun employed. So, oh, fun employed. Yeah, so I quit my job about uh, a couple of days ago. I'm so. fun employed feels like the uh, slogan for Austin, Texas. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm gun from, employed. I'm visiting, so. Okay. I'm, Where are you from? I'm from the DC area. Oh, cool. Yeah, so uh, my friend lives here in Austin, so I came by and just wandering around. Huh. And uh, what did you do? I did accounting. Oh, yeah. But, yeah do you I, not want to work in that anymore? Uh, no, I'm. Technically, will be working in accounting, just trying to enjoy my life. 
Huh. Yeah, yeah, that's going to be a tough thing to balance. <laughs> <laughs> you have not set yourself up to enjoy your life well. Yeah. Have you reconsidered the accounting part of that? Uh, no, we need accountants. We more do. than ever. Now yeah, more than now ever. Now more than ever. Oh my god. I will say, uh, you know Simu Lu? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so I used to, like, he used to be an accountant, and then now he's an actor, and Hopefully, maybe one day I'll follow the same path. Just start really, that's rates. the path you're following. You Is want it? to be an actor, so you're going into accounting. Every accountant now, every accountant nowadays is following the yeah. Simu Liu. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> accounting is known as a stepping stone to success in the Marvel universe. Yes. Yes. I think that's I mean, how Chris Evans started too. He was an actuary. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> do, are you? Would you? Do you really want to be an actor? No, 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 oh, okay. no, no. You no. want to do something creative, potentially. I mean, it'll be really amazing to do. What yeah. was it about your last job accounting that wasn't right? I think just working with numbers till 1 a.m. I think most accounting jobs are going to be that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I don't think you can get away from the numbers. No, till 1 a.m. Wow. Yeah, there are all times, but I would yeah. work a lot of hours. Yeah. Are you dating anyone? Uh, yes, I am dating my girlfriend for two years. Well, cool. how'd you meet? Uh, we met through an app called uh, Coffee Meets Bagel. Oh, nice. I've heard of that app. I've never heard of anyone using it. Coffee Meets Bagel. Yeah, it's very wholesome. Uh, uh -huh. Yeah, we met on the app, and she was like, "Okay." Are so. you guys polyamorous? <laughs> no, 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 no. It's a wholesome app, Billy. It's a wholesome. App. <laughs> what was your opening line? <laughs> wow, I don't remember. <laughs> well, but uh. We had this phone call usually because we met during COVID, so we we did a phone call first, and I thought that was really weird. Mm -hmm. Not really weird, but just uh, I'm usually an in-person person. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But like one. It was phone really call. hard at that time to be <laughs> together in person with people. Yeah. We all struggled. Yeah. But just yeah. like voice call worked out, and mm -hmm. I was just really excited to see her on the second date. And wow. So now you must be together a while now. Yeah. Right. When you say wholesome, do you mean Christian? Uh, no, not Christian. Okay. Just like very. Coffee meets bagel. It is sounds Christian, Christian to me. No, it no, no, like no. Christian it's not a bagel. It's not, it's not account. like a. I would I guess say bagel, like a hookup right. or anything. It's not. Yeah. yeah, it's more like looking for a long-term thing. Yeah. Okay. Isn't there? There's some app for like Christian farmers to meet. Oh yeah, yeah. Mm. Christian mingle. Christian, Christian mingle. mingle. I don't know if that's still around. Oh no. We're we'll bringing it back. It they, if not, if it is around, they will have a booth here at South by. They, <laughs> the Christian here, Mingle I'm tent. I'm at South by Southwest with Christian Mingle, and I have like an assault weapon with me. I'm like, I can't seem to find anyone. Yeah. I mean, it's Texas, so. What is that? I mean, assault weapon Texas is Texas. Yeah, it yeah. is. Well, we want to say thank you for sitting down and talking to us. No, thank you for and inviting me. Do you need any advice about how to find, like, how are you, are you searching for your next job actively or are you enjoying the time off? I have, I'm enjoying my time off. I have uh, another role soon, but uh, yeah. What uh, are you doing next? Uh, more accounting. Oh, okay. Just less accounting. But, but then right after that, you're going to be working with J.J. Abrams yes. or, or someone. Yes, yes. someone, hopefully. Yeah, exactly. Are, you, are yeah. your parents worried about you? No. Okay. I don't they're, think any parent of an accountant is worried. No, they're, about they're them. like one of my my parent. One of my parents is an accountant, so they know. Oh, okay. what's runs the, in the blood. Runs in the blood. What's the dream accounting job? What's the best job in that world? I would say, as boring as it sounds, like a CFO, kind of okay. like a CEO, just with numbers. So just like the boss of the money of an organization. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, hey, here's a dollar to sticker. Speaking there of money, you go. enjoy it. Hope you guys well. have a good South by Southwest. Yeah, well. yeah, you too. Have fun. Good luck. Thank you. Oh. Okay. Well, we met some people. We did. They were very nice. They were nice. Everyone is nice. It's a much different energy than oh, yeah. New York City. It's very chill. Yeah. yeah. You live in Los Angeles now? I go back and forth, go but back yeah, and forth. I am in LA most of the time, yeah. Have you heard of the term bicoastal? I have. Cool. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think that might apply to you. But I'm not going to use it. <laughs> yeah. um, well, hey, thank you for talking thank to us, Billy. We're fans me. of your work. Yeah, we love having you, so you on much. our show. Thank you. Um, Thank you to Patreon for having Billy and for yeah, having us. Absolutely. And we hope, are you going to stay in town a little bit or are you heading out? Absolutely not. Getting the fuck out You're of here. You're getting out right of here. Well, we hope you have yeah. a safe trip home. <laughs> Thank we you. We want to give you a dollar and a sticker. Oh, wow. We have Thank to you. do it. Um, it's just part of our thing. And Finally, a sticker someone's for you. giving me a dollar. Thank you, Billy. And a sticker. Yeah, that's us. It's spared no expense. No, we really oh. Thank you. went wild. Thanks, Billy. We Thank appreciate you so it. Much. Thank yeah. you, Billy. Thank you. Thank you, Patreon. Thank you. Cool. Can we get a couple pictures oh, with yeah, you? And then thanks for doing this. Yeah.
Well, I suppose we're on the road again, and I suppose that'll do it for this episode. That wraps up our, our, our episode here at South by Southwest. Look at that new kind of road they're building. Whoa, kind of interesting. Looks huh? like a moat. It's like a little. Huh. Cool. They'd be building. People be building new stuff. People um, be building. But we are not building, we're ending. Yeah. Ending an episode. We built it earlier. Can you say bye-bye? Bye bye. Say bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Okay, he said bye-bye. Bye-bye. That's the end of the episode. Thank you to Patreon. Thank you to the city of Austin. And thank you to South by Southwest. And thank you to um, to Nathan for And your thanks exercise. to Nathan for driving us around. Tirelessly. Goodbye. Bye bye. Wow. wow, what a great episode. Thank you. Hey, we're sorry we missed you guys in the intro. We didn't do an intro this week because it was kind of a different vibe. It was a different vibe. It was a special edition. You don't get intros for special editions. Yeah, we just, you know, Patreon had this idea to do it in this in this kind of stylized way. And we said, okay, fam. And they said, what's that mean? And we had to describe to them the whole fam thing because everyone who works at Patreon is over mm -hmm. 60 years old. Yeah. It was kind of a whole situation. But they did good. They edited this episode. It yeah, was awesome. Yeah, it was kind of fun and different. You know, it was a different vibe. It's not the, the way we always do our show, but it's kind of fun to do it differently. Yeah. The guests were awesome. Thank you to Billy Eichner for being there. Thank you to Patreon for helping us do this. Please support us on Patreon. we got a bonus episode there that's up right now from this day with extra stuff with Billy, extra guests that we found on the street. Um, we had so much fun there in Austin, and, um... Hold for plane? Helicopter? Oh, hold for copter? That's a cool name for a kid. If I named a kid cop Copter? Hmm. Right? I'm holding. Oh, okay. Unhold for copter. It's really loud. No. Um, yeah, and, uh... Yeah, supporting us on Patreon is the best way to support our show. It's five dollars a month you get access to 200 i think i saw it today there were like 200 posts on there because i just posted a new bonus episode from our um uh mexico trip mm -hmm. yeah just five dollars and you get access to all of that so if you're if you want more of us that's the best way to do it thank you for watching or listening rate and review us on apple podcasts we got our next live show in la on may 7th for the netflix is a joke festival we're gonna have a very special guest join us for that that will sell out tickets on our website podcastbutoutside.com slash live yeah, that's about it. Austin was awesome. Austin was awesome. Yeah, we had a lot of fun. Thank you, Texas. Thank you, Patreon. Yeah. And um, we'll be back next in two weeks with another episode from Austin with very some very special guests on that one as well. Ooh. Okay, rock on. Bye. Bye. What did you envision yourself doing when you were a boy? Jeez. Uh. <laughs>